Should you go full-time or part-time in real estate? The age old question. In this video, I'm gonna give you my honest and unfiltered opinion on the subject. And by the end of this video, you should know whether or not you wanna go full-time or part-time in this industry. I'm Night Agent Kelly. I help realtors attract more clients via social media, stop chasing them, start attracting them. If you wanna learn how to do that, Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and sign up to the viral letter in my description. Catch two rabbits, you chase none. Another age old saying, and I personally believe that if you have a part-time job while you're trying to sell real estate, you are essentially chasing two rabbits. Now, I'm not saying you can't be successful being part-time, because obviously you can, and a lot of people have done it. But I also think that if you can be successful part-time as a realtor, just imagine how successful you would be just going full-time anyways. And it's funny because all of the realtors that I know that were successful as part-time realtors, when they transitioned into full-time, their business exploded through the ceiling. If you're successful only half committing, imagine how much more successful you'd be fully committing. Like imagine being a part-time gym enthusiast. You might get some results, but you're probably never going to get the results you actually want to get. You're probably never going to be eight to 10% body fat and completely jacked. Doing real estate part-time, in my opinion, is the equivalent of going to the gym every day, but then having a completely shit diet outside of the gym. Yeah, you're going to get some results, but ultimately not the results that you're hoping to get. A lot of people will say things like, you know, uh, you're only in competition with yourself and live in a state of abundance, which I do agree with both of those things to a certain degree, because I do also believe that you are in competition with other people. Business is war. There can only be so many of us at the top. And as you know, in any industry, the top 10% eat and the bottom 90% basically starve. And it has to be that way, right? To get into the top 10%, it requires a certain skill set where you can navigate much more comp complex issues than the bottom 90%. And the fact that you can navigate these very complex issues allows you to reap the reward that is associated with that level of difficulty that is then split amongst way less people because not as many people can solve those issues. So what do I mean by that, right? At this level of difficulty, let's just say it's flipping burgers, there is a very big pool of people that know how to flip burgers. Maybe the amount of money is the same. Let's say it's a million bucks and it's split amongst a million people, everybody gets a dollar, right? The next level of difficulty might be, I don't know, washing cars, right? Maybe only 800,000 people know how to do something that difficult, but the reward is still a million dollars, right? And as it gets more and more difficult, here at the top 10%, right, you have lawyers, right? And maybe the reward is still a million bucks, but maybe only 15 people know how to get to that level of difficulty. So those people reap a much bigger reward supply and demand. So where am I going with this? If you want to get into the top 10% to make the money that actually make this career worth doing it at all, in my opinion, I don't even think it's worth being a realtor unless you're gonna get into the top 10%, you have to fully commit to actually learn these skills to be able to solve these problems, to be able to make that money. And doing the job part-time is the epitome of not fully committing. Secondly, it's going to require you to have a certain skill set, And one of those skill sets is emotional intelligence. I guess, I don't know if that's a skill set, but regardless, you have to have emotional intelligence, emotional fortitude, whatever lingo you wanna use for the term. Being able to weather the storm that comes with having a higher risk tolerance. And the only way you're going to learn how to do that is by actually taking on higher risk. When you quit your job and you go full-time into real estate, even if you're not making any money, you are building certain skills, you're building your character, you're building your emotional intelligence. Almost like going to the gym, you get stronger and build more muscle when you lift weights outside of your comfort zone. When you push yourself to lift heavier than usual weights, you will tear muscle fibers and grow muscle. So your mind, almost like a muscle, will grow when you take on new levels of stress. And for you to really succeed in this industry, at some point, you're gonna have to learn how to deal with that stress. And once you know how to deal with that stress, you will unlock the next level of difficulty, right? You cannot bench 225 until you first bench 210, right? You cannot s learn how to sell 30 homes without first going through the pain of quitting your job and then maybe starving for a little bit and growing the emotional fortitude that comes, you know, through going with through all that stuff 
to then be able to stay calm in certain situations that allow you to close more clients and sell more homes. So in my opinion, I don't see the point in trying to do real estate part-time for a few reasons. One, even if you did do it part-time and you did really, really well, I would challenge that by saying, well, how much better would you do if you just went full-time? Two, you are competing for the business with people who do this all day, every day, and have done it for years. And in my opinion, you're gonna need every single edge you can get to make it in this industry. That is why I quit smoking, drinking, vices. I go to the gym every day. I do all of these things just to have a very slight edge up on all my competition. And going full-time is a very easy thing you can do to give yourself an edge on a boat you know, 50% of the industry or whatever percentage is part-time. And three, if you have big goals and dreams for yourself, understand that you are not going to get there without hardship and pain and overcoming. What I think a lot of people are doing by trying to go part-time is they are just trying to avoid that period where they don't have money, they're struggling month to month, they're living off of credit, they're just burning through their cash reserves. They're trying to avoid that entire period of business and just go from part-time to now I have a successful real estate business and I'm just gonna like seamlessly swap over into now being a full-time realtor. You need to go through the hardship at some point and you might as well do it. Your risk level at the very beginning of your real estate career is when it's going to be the least. My bills are absolutely atrocious now than in, the, in comparison to the beginning of real estate. Understand that real estate is and business in general is only going to get more risky the longer you're in it. You are going to accumulate more bills. You're going to get an office lease. You're gonna get a nicer car. You're gonna run more ads. Your marketing budget's gonna get bigger. Your level of risk is only going to increase the longer you're in business. It doesn't go down. So you might as well get used to that risk of starving and not knowing where the next paycheck's coming in and possibly not knowing if you're gonna pay the bills and blah, blah, blah because every single successful entrepreneur I know still lives like that today, even five, six, seven years in the industry. Maybe not every single one, but at least right now with the way the economy is, that's most people that I know. So my advice to you is don't try to make things become easier. Try to become stronger so hard things become easier for you. When you quit your job and you go into real estate full-time, there is going to be a massive growth period within your life. It may not be reflective in dollars, but it will be reflective in character. And as your character grows, naturally you start to attract more opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, join the viral letter using the link below. I'm that Agent Kelly. I'm making moves to move you. Peace.